Hey there, we are going to be making a pop-up drawing using construction paper crayons of the famous Van Gogh bedroom and the chair. Look at the next two pictures so you can see the Van Gogh art and we're gonna be using different pieces of it to create it. So let's get started. So to get started, you will need white piece of paper that's cardstock or um, that cream shade, a box of construction paper crayons, regular crayons do work, and then scissors. To start off, you're gonna take it and you're gonna fold it in half. And then in the middle, you're going to cut up maybe about an inch and a half and then you're gonna open it and then pop it. And then you're gonna take it and then fold. And this will be the Van Gogh chair. And you will be drawing the bottom parts of the chair here. This is the seat and then the, the resting part of the chair. Okay, so to get started, one thing I recommend is you always keep this flat when you're drawing, but then always occasionally pop it up just to make sure the bottom of the chair and the top part of the chair are proportioned correctly. So go ahead and just lay it flat and let's go ahead and start with the chair. So the Van Gogh chair is like a yellowish orange brown. It's a mixture of all three colors. So you might wanna just grab those three colors to make and like mix it. I'm gonna use yellow as my base and then go back with brown. So first thing is, I'm gonna use this part. Okay. And this part. And if you look back, there are two parts right here on the chair and you will go in and color this part the same color as your floor otherwise it just looks like a random chair with white space <clears throat> then you want to color the seat make sure you're paying really close attention and not coloring too fast you don't want it getting on the sides I'm going to color this a little lightly Okay, and then same thing. This is the top part of the chair. Now keep in mind, see this? This is too low. You wanna make it bigger. So constantly check to make sure that your chair is proportioned correctly. And it's better to make it like slowly make it larger then just make it large and then it's like kind of like too late see just a little bit larger okay and then this one has three so one two perfect okay now you want to add in that orange because the color of his chair is more like a yellow ochre. Yellow ochre is like a, a dull down yellow. So purple actually is opposite of yellow on the color wheel. That can um, be a way to dull down your yellow or just add your browns and oranges to do that as well. Now in the Van Gogh chair, there's like, it's kind of like rounded. So I wouldn't make just like this full X. I would actually do this. And then using your brown, do that to bring it in. 
Remember, be careful, you don't color too fast. And then you can go back with the yellow, blend it in, create some really nice texture. So our big focus is making this look like the true Van Gogh chair that um, he's always uh, put in his paintings. Go back. Perfect. And then always, as always, just kind of pop it up just to kind of get a glance and perfect. Now you are ready to start adding things in your um, Van Gogh room. So the walls are blue. There are some windows, there's picture frames. You don't have to copy it exactly, but it is important to kind of, you know, bring in that aspect. So I'm going to put a table and remember you want it to match. I'm gonna make it just a little bit higher than the chair. And the table is just a little bit this way. It's like a side table. Awesome. And then there's a drawer. So I'm gonna do that to show. And then there's the handle of the drawer. Um, something else I wanna add, I'm gonna put it over here just because good art always has some kind of balance. So maybe on this side, I'm going to draw the window frames. And so, you know, you can always draw this in pencil first but I notice that this is kind of like this. And if it helps, you can just lightly, lightly, lightly draw a line right there, just so you know. And then there's some really nice mix of greens and lime greens over here. So I'm just gonna take it. Remember, you can do your own colors. You don't have to copy the Van Gogh bedroom completely. The only thing I really want is the chair. Okay, I wanna add a picture here. And what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna add, um, the picture is going to be of the harvest. I think that will be really cool. I'm 
my picture frame. Right, and in Harvest, we have a really pretty sky. We have some mountains. And all that yellow, that was part of that art. All right, and we also wanna show that this is hanging in the room, hanging over the na nail. Perfect. Okay, and then I think I want to add, actually, I don't think I'll have room for anything else. It might ruin the balance. So I think I'm gonna just stick with that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just draw that line a little darker. Now, in the Van Gogh bedroom painting, the the floor is like a brownish gray with a little hint of reds and greens. So what I recommend is you take your crayon, take off the wrapper, and just go up and down coloring like this. It will create really nice texture, cover a lot of surface as well. Make sure you go up and down because that's the direction that the, the woodwork is going. And then once you do that, kind of go again and go darker in some different spots to create value. And then you're gonna have to very gently go in, color inside, but don't do it up here, that's the wall. Okay, then just so you can have really good straight lines, you wanna go in and draw Let's add some greens. You can even take the wrapper off. Okay, and then with the blue, you wanna cover all this surface. You don't wanna really like color with um, like straight from the tip of the, of the crayon. You actually want to, if possible, take off the wrapper. 
find like a pretty light blue. Break off the crayon, preferably small pieces. And then what I do is I just go very gently up and down, very carefully. And being very careful not to go over any of the furniture. Try not to go over it again and again. Just get in the spots, the spaces. And then this, you gotta very carefully color. I might just color around it just to kind of emphasize the chair. And then if you wanna create an ombre look, you can just go in those corners and the edges, color just like that. Here's what it looks like with not so much light. And there you have it. There is your Van Gogh painting of the chair. Van Gogh drawing of the chair. Also, if you are done, you can go back and add like gold paper to make the frame stand out more. You can add a 3D bed over here. There's a lot of other things you can add. You can even put like a little mirror, actual mirror. Those are all things that are up to you. You can even add like the vase and the teacups that were on the table in the bedroom painting here. This is just like a basic example of what you can do.